Hello friends. I am back today to explain to you the relationship between structures and pointers. To that I will create an array of structures of the type struct employee. Suppose this is the array containing values like a 23 400.5, x 27 500.0, and y 28 600.75. These being array elements, we certainly expect them to be in adjacent memory locations. Now, if I do p equal to e, e being an array, if I mention its name, I am bound to get its base address. Base address of the array is how much? Well, it's 401. So in P, what would get stored is 401. Then I do a P++. And then I print out the value of P. Now if I ask you, having done P++, print F P would give me what? Your answer could be, well, it will give me 410 or 402. If I do a P++, what I get depends upon what is the type of the pointer. And you would not be able to tell me whether it's 402 or 410 unless and until I tell you what is the type of the pointer P. So don't think that plus plus means go to the next byte. What and where it will take me depends on what? Depends upon the type of the pointer. Because the rule is to increment the pointer, it points to the next location of its type. That of its type is very important. So unless type of the pointer is known, you would never be able to tell me where would P++ take me. Suppose I define P in such a manner that I should get 402. Then how would the definition look like? Well, it should merely be a care pointer. Then only plus plus will take me to the next care. Yes or no? Unless an until p is a care pointer, plus plus on it will not take me to the next byte or next care. So I would have to define p as a care star p. Then I may do q equal to e. Again do a q plus plus and then print the value of q. I want that this should give me 410. A care pointer on incrementation takes you to the next care then I must think of Q as a pointer which will take me to the next structure. Right now Q is pointing here. So also is P. But if I increment Q, if I want that Q should take me here to the next structure, I should think of Q as what? A pointer to a structure. Then only it will take me to the next structure if I define Q and then increment it. Let's define Q as struct employee star q. When I do this, now q++ will take me to 410. So p is what? p is a pointer to a care or a care pointer. Similarly, q is what? q is a pointer to a structure or a structure pointer. Both are one and the same thing. The way care pointer is same as pointer to a care, similarly, structure pointer is same as pointer to a structure. I do R equal to E and R plus plus. Let's define R to be struct employee star R bracket 3. The moment I define it this way, R becomes what? R becomes a pointer to an array of structures. If it is a pointer to an array of structures, then on incrementing it, I will be taken to the next array of structures. Next area of structures will begin at 428. Means we are thinking of R as if to begin with it's a pointer pointing here. And I am saying that it's an area of this and it's a, it's a pointer to this entire array. Plus plus on R, I expect that it should take me here. 419, then 28 will be at 420, 21, 22, 23. 600.75 would be at 424, 25, 26, 27, 4 byte float. So this will be really at 428. I want to reach here, so 
so i should treat r as what as a pointer to an array of three struct employees and this parenthesis you appreciate are vital if i do not use parenthesis the way i have done here then z becomes what z becomes a array of pointers to structures which is fundamentally different than pointer to array of structures differences are what really if i do a z equal to e and then i try z plus plus that would be wrong why would z equal to e be wrong because z is an array now and array name equal to something we know is always wrong no matter what is the type of the array array name equal to something would never fly so this is wrong again to reiterate p is a char pointer q is a pointer to a structure r is pointer to an array of three struct employees and z is an array of three struct employee elements array of structures and pointer to an array is something which is different you are do we agree that all of them would be four bytes each because ultimately all these three p q as well as r contain nothing but one address where z is supposed to hold three addresses one address four bytes so three addresses would be 12 bytes that explains as to why p q r is of four bytes where z is going to be of 12 bytes i hope i have clarified enough the difference between different types of pointers moreover the difference between pointer to an array of structures and an array of pointers to structures those r and z those are very vital the rest i think is fairly straightforward bye and good luck